Hey guys, my name is Jason from Soil the Land, and last night it got frosty. And today we're doing a project for our egg laying chickens. But first, let's say good morning. Good morning, guys. Bernice! Good morning, Bernice! Fuzzy Muggins! Good morning! Let's see your feed. It got frosty last night, guys. We've had our chickens in here for over a week now. Just kind of let them kind of till up our our garden. And this is the area that we don't really have stuff growing right now. I had brought in some of the pig poop in here. They're tilling that up. Old tomatoes. And then eventually we're gonna rip all this stuff out right here. And then probably put a tarp over it over winter. But for now, we figured why not give it to the chickens, let them go to town on it. It gives them something to do. And I'm thinking we'll probably keep them in here probably uh, up until it gets really cold out. And then we'll move them back out uh, into their coop, their stationary coop. But th I've used this style coop. Th actually, it's this exact coop for four years with egg layers. Even in the winter, this is their home. We decided to do a stationary coop because we we're just doing more meat chickens and we're running out of space. But with that, there's no nesting box in here. And we, we started putting hay in here for them. We thought maybe they might use this. But, you know, chickens need the privacy. Cinderella, good morning. They've been laying eggs in the weeds, which has been fine, but when it rains, they don't really have a spot because they're all huddled in the shelter. Today, we're gonna be building a nesting box, guys. Um, we're gonna wait till it warms up. I need to have some breakfast and some coffee and uh, we need to move the meat chickens. <laughs> Almost ready to put these guys in our freezer this week. Uh, still some little ones. We may, I may leave some little ones, but this guy. Oh, you're pretty big. You're a big guy. It's really not worth butchering him because it's just too little. Usually if I have an extra Premier 1 netting, as the meat chickens get older, I like to put it around the tractor and just kind of let them free range a little bit. Usually it's the last week or two uh, before we put them in our freezer. And since we have this extra pig netting, uh, it's pretty small down below, so the piglets can't go out and hopefully it can contain these chickens also. Uh, in the past, I've never had extra netting like this. It may take them a little while to get get it that I actually left the door open. They can do this, but it's short because it's for pigs. Uh, but I don't see these Cornish cross chickens flying over. I could be wrong. Uh, <laughs> but some of these big guys can't even can't even walk. Hardly. I'm gonna leave this open and just let them go for the day, and we'll check back on them later. Now, if this was the Murray's Big Red Broilers that we just butchered this last time, I probably couldn't get away with the shorter fence because I think those guys will probably fly over. Ooh, breakfast time! What are you having, Penelope? That. <laughs> We're having eggs and potatoes and some lion's mane mushroom tea. Ooh. Roller skates in the house, Penelope? Yeah, I'm trying to get out of the house though. All right, Penelope's trying to learn how to roller skate. I'm making a big giant pot of broth. Actually, this one isn't big, so big giant. Um, I could fill it up higher if I had like some bigger birds, but I'm making a pot of broth, two chickens. This is like a, a meat stock broth. Um, which is still very, very good and healing for your gut. And it's just, it's very good for you. So what I'm doing is we grew, we grew some really nice size onions this year, but we also grew some really tiny onions and that's okay. I saved them all. Oh, that's cute. 
I save them all because I save them for broth. And like even like our garlics that did really tiny, that, that, that just grew really small, I save them for broth. I just pretty much throw the whole thing in here. So what I'm doing is just kind of brushing away all the dirt and um, cleaning them up and then just making sure I have about enough for about two onion size, like two real onions, and then I'll just dump them in the pot. Yeah! Hey guys, there's still time. We're gonna be speaking at Homesteaders of America Conference. We're gonna do that online. And also uh, the Wise Traditions Conference that's coming up in November. I'll leave a link both to those uh, to purchase tickets if you guys are interested in that. This is thyme, a little bit of sage, and oregano and I'm just gonna make like a little bundle just tie it together into a little bouquet these are all fresh that I just cut from the garden and then I'll just toss it right inside <laughs> lazy chickens all right i'm gonna show you how to make a nesting box we're keeping it easy and scrappy this is an 18 gallon storage container about five bucks with the lid this is not our chickens permanent home this is very temporary i didn't want to go too crazy building like a wood nesting box and have it be all pretty and perfect the only tools i'm using we're keeping this simple is i'm using my leatherman multi-tool it has everything in it pliers little tiny scissors but today we're just using the knife. Need a ruler. This looks good. This is the side of the storage box. This is not exact science here, guys. I'm just using this scrap wood as a ruler. And ever so gently, get your Leatherman, poke a hole, and then follow that line all the way down. We're leaving the bottom, so we're just going to follow this little plastic line that goes all the way across here. We're going to do the top, and we're going to follow this in this crease here. We're going to use this fold. Try to go slow. I'm doing scrappy, guys. We're keeping it scrappy. Does not need to be perfect. That's it. You got your extra piece here. You want to try to keep that little round lip that goes up because when you put hay in here, hopefully it won't come out as they're in here. Oh, we have an egg there. Sally, what are you doing out? Let's fill this up with hay. All right, chickens. So we're gonna leave this in here. You put the top on it. And there you go, you have a nesting box. Think of it as just a portable nesting box. I'm gonna put this egg in there. Maybe they'll see that. All right, they're curious. All it takes is one chicken to use it and they'll all follow. All right, it's craft day today. The girls are sewing in here. Penelope, Penelope, you're sewing too? Yeah. What are you making? I'm making a blanket for um, my doll. Oh, looks good. Okay. Mom's making another dress. I am. I'm making a Christmas dress. <laughs> and I'm also making broth. So right now I'm just pulling out all of the onions and the things I kind of just want to discard. Now we have this beautiful jar of golden broth to drink and this whole pot will fill up all of these jars here. And then I also have two chickens that literally the meat just like falls off the bone because it's so tender. It's been cooked slowly and like the meat will just fall completely off the bone. How's that broth? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I need to edit some video. I'm trying to get a video out today, guys. Still see that egg in there, guys. Bernice, are you using a nesting box? What's up? There's some hay that's taken out. 
I don't know. I'm gonna have to see. I'm pretty sure they'll get the hang of it. So, they've been doing this pretty much all day. They've been inside their chicken tractor and just kind of lounging around. You lazy chickens, they're Cornish crosses. They're meat birds. They're bred just to eat and get big. 